Good morning, folks. The sun fired again, drawing attention to the incoming limb. Solar wind is intensifying. We've got hail, a cosmic collision, and some trip-ups for mainstream astrophysics and cosmology. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. Eruption top left is easily noticed, and afterwards note that the coronal hole has begun approaching the western limb. While solar flaring remains somewhat low, that's mostly due to the primary eruptive action taking place over the limb and out of view of our X-ray detectors. Actually, can see the umbral field expansion before the ejection. And over at SOHO, we find the light CME heading at the March position of Earth's orbit behind us. As we come to the coronal holes, we find that departing coronal hole on the south, its solar wind has indeed arrived as you see the bottom two panels, speed and temperature, rising up after a small density shock wave that flipped the phi angle up top in blue. KP4 instability events thus far, but weak geomagnetic storms are possible today. The interplanetary magnetic connection to our star is at that coronal hole, and we've got the CME set to electrically couple this weekend. Hawaiian volcano was more quiet the last 24 hours, but with the lithospheric actors in play, we'll watch for eruptions there, like we'll be watching for the seismicity. We're going next to Montana. Last night, a significant hailstorm dropped tennis-sized ice balls some considerable damage to property nearby. As we come to the science news postings, we've got to zoom in on a distant galaxy visible just across our own galaxy's arms and just above them from our perspective. It is amazing that we can spot things like this between the bright points of light from our own galaxy. And they're saying the serene image here is actually the result of a major galactic collision involving two spiral galaxies. Up next, we have a great work detailing how solar wind energy is transferred to heat in our atmosphere. It's at the bow shock of Earth. As the boundary is crossed by an accelerating electron, it accelerates further, stripping the energy from the electrons and transferring it into heat energy. A bit of confusion in the gravitational wave world as new Chandra results indicate that they still think a black hole was produced, but it would be the smallest one ever. That's a moment you should rethink your conclusion there. Lastly, folks, one thing you don't hear often is an official death certificate of dark matter issues from those mainstream scientists. Well, here we actually have one such moment where the fermionic and highly interactive hypothesized dark matter cannot exist given the Xenon 1T results taken together with CERN. Number of types of WIMPs being sought, but this one has seen his last rodeo. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.